What's up guys, MMA Professor. I'm gonna do WEC 44 predictions uh, taking place Wednesday in Las Vegas. It's gonna be Mike Brown champion against Jose Aldo. Um, I'll give you the preliminary card picks in the sidebar over there. Uh, so let's, let's go into the main card. A lot of these fights are pretty close and um, you know, I'm kind of up in the air on some of them, um, but we'll just go through it as as I run it down. Uh, the first one, Danny Castillo against Shane Roller. Uh, Castillo looked really good in his last fight against uh, Ricardo Lamas, who's also fighting on this on the undercard. Um, and uh, his striking looked really crisp, and he dropped him with a, I think it was a huge right hand, and put him down. Shane Roller, uh, you know, obviously a great wrestler. He's going to want to take the fight to the ground. Uh, Castillo is pretty good takedown defense. Uh, Castillo's going to want to keep it on the feet for the most part. Roller coming off a decision win over Marcus Hicks. Uh, before that, uh, TKO'd by, um, by Benson Henderson. Uh, he had Benson in trouble for a while. Uh, it's a tough one to pick. <clears throat> Castillo's looked really good lately. Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Shane Roller... Unanimous decision, but if Danny Castillo can keep it on the feet and avoid the takedown, he could win a decision. But I see Shane putting it wherever he wants to, controlling it with his wrestling. Shane Roller winning a decision, maybe a late TKO. All right, now Razor Rob McCullough against Karen Darabedian. Don't know how to pronounce that. Never heard of him. Uh, I didn't see any of his fights. Uh, so I should probably go watch those <laughs> before, so my pick could change depending on it. Uh, Rob McCullough looked like shit in his last fight against Marcus Hicks. Just couldn't pull the trigger. So it's tough when you got a, like, a newcomer that you don't know a lot about, and McCullough who looked like crap in his last fight. I, I'm going to say McCullough rebounds here. Uh, I think they're probably... The WBC likes Rob McCullough. He's a marketable guy. He was a former champ. So um, I can see him probably picking a guy that has a pretty good record, a uh, tough guy, just to give him a boost and get the win. It could backfire, but uh, play it safe and say Rob McCullough, second round TKO. Manny Gambirian against Leonard Garcia. Gambirian dropping down from 155 in his last fight. He looked pretty lackluster, got a lot of boos from the crowd. Obviously, again, Gambirian's going to want this on the ground. Uh, you know, his wrestling or his judo, take it down, control him, maybe go for some leg locks. Uh, Leonard Garcia against Jamil Masu in his last fight looked like shit. I thought he lost that fight. Uh, Jamil had him in a, a Dars or an Anaconda against the cage um, and almost put him completely to sleep, and I think he did. And Leonard... I mean, he did drop Masu, but, you know, and uh, that, that's my one thing with this is Gambirian has been TKO'd before. Um, so Garcia definitely has the power to TKO him. And, uh, you know, it's weird. It's hard when both guys look like shit in their last fight, too. But I'm going to pick, I'm going to say Leonard Garcia by TKO in the second round. Uh, because he should be able to keep it off the ground. He trains at Greg Jackson, so I'm sure they're just drilling two things. One, takedown defense. Two, leg locks. So, unless Gambirian can consistently put it, or put the fight, take the fight where he wants it, which I don't think he's going to do consistently for three rounds, uh, we'll see how, he, I think maybe the cut, the first cut to 145, uh, was kind of difficult for him, so if he comes back and cuts well, he definitely has the ability to do it. I'm going to pick Leonard Garcia by TKO. Main event, Mike Brown against Jose Aldo. Brown has looked like a beast in the WEC so far. He's huge for 145. He's got a huge right hand, tons of power, great wrestling, great cardio, uh, and there's a lot of intangibles in this fight that you can look at and go, wow, where do you go? How do you pick this fight? I mean, from what we've seen in Jose Aldo, he's incredibly uh, powerful and explosive. 
Uh, he can knock you out in a split second. He's got good hands, great kicks, great knees. Uh, we haven't seen him on the ground. He is a black belt in jiu-jitsu. I have saw some of his old fights. He is good off the ground. He's good off his back and on top position. He's definitely a legit black belt. So you got to figure with Mike Brown, he's going to be able to take it where he wants to with the fight, uh, threaten with his hands a little bit, you get the takedowns, he's trained the American top team, and uh, you know he's going to be drilling submissions, and he has been susceptible in his early in his career to submissions. But I'm going to say he stays out of subs, takes the fight where he wants to go, and we haven't seen Jose Aldo. I think Brown's probably going to want to tire him out, drag him in the later rounds where we haven't seen Jose Aldo. And uh, I think just the experience and the ability to control the pace of the fight and put it where he wants to. Uh, the only thing Brown has to worry about, I think, is getting you know KO'd uh, probably in the first you know round and a half, maybe two rounds, and then you know if look at the fight early in the fight if brown's controlling the pace and you know clinching a lot and pushing him in his cage and controlling aldo you pretty much know how the fight's going to go if he doesn't get inside and allows aldo to control the distance he's going to be in some trouble because aldo can is going to pick him apart and and probably hurt him with some big shots i'm going to say brown by even if he drags it later, I think Aldo's ground positioning is going to be enough to save off any chances at a finish. So I'm going to go with Brown by unanimous decision to hold on to the belt. So those are my picks. Uh, I'm going to do 106 picks and uh, some other videos that I've been working on. Q&A video, probably. So if you have questions, I already have a bunch of them. But if you have questions, send it to my personal. Don't write it on my channel. Just send me questions, uh, just PM me on it. So that's it. You guys stay metal. Later.